If you ever have trouble organizing your essay or making your essay flow, then working on your topic sentences may be the solution you need. First, what is a topic sentence? A topic sentence is the first sentence of a body paragraph, and it has two jobs. One is to tell the reader the main point of a paragraph, and the other is to tell the reader how that paragraph connects to the thesis statement. Every body paragraph needs to focus on just one main idea. So once you're able to identify a point that supports your thesis, then you're ready to write a topic sentence. Ultimately, topic sentences serve as guideposts that tell your readers what your paragraphs are about and how those ideas are organized and connected. Therefore, having clear topic sentences increases the clarity, flow, and organization of your essay. Next, how do you create a topic sentence? First, look at your prompt. After making sure your thesis answers the prompt, you'll focus on the reasons listed in your thesis. Here's a very basic thesis along with simple examples of topic sentences. Notice how the topic sentence of the first paragraph repeats the first topic listed in the thesis. The topic sentence of the second paragraph repeats the second topic, and the third topic sentence repeats a third topic in the thesis. If your thesis is more complex or doesn't list the reasons explicitly, then ask yourself how or why your thesis is true and make each of those ideas the topics of each body paragraph. Now that we've covered what topic sentences are and how to create them, let's go over some do's and don'ts. The first tip is to avoid specific details or evidence in topic sentences. In this example, the writer starts with the specific example of adaptability showing how this cook uses ingredients that are available during certain seasons. While this is a great example that shows a great cook's adaptability, the reader is left confused how it relates to the thesis. The topic sentence should clearly state how great cooks adapt by using ingredients that are available. For example, whether it's due to the season or supply shortage, great cooks learn to work with ingredients that are available. And then after this topic sentence, the student can add a transition like, for example, and insert the example of Elizabeth Stark. Another tip is to avoid asking questions in topic sentences. Questions make the reader wonder about the answer, which doesn't help your reader understand the main point right away. They may understand the topic you're introducing, but not your stance on that topic. Therefore, instead of asking a question like, how does a great cook adapt to different situations, give your answer and make that the topic sentence. For instance, from the slow lunch hours to the busy dinner rush, a great chef can efficiently produce great food in any scenario. Next, it's best to avoid announcements. Another common issue is declaring what the paragraph will be about rather than stating the topic and the relation to the thesis. For example, instead of, in this paragraph, I will discuss how good cooks adapt easily to working with different types of people, you can take out the announcement portion, I will discuss how, and you'd have a better topic sentence. The last tip is to avoid repetition that's excessively simple. While it's a good idea to repeat the main point of the thesis, do so using different words. For example, we see that the topic sentences all start the same way, and while it's clear to the reader what's being expressed, it's too simplistic and repetitive. You want to repeat the idea of adaptability, but by using different words. Notice how adding idea links as transitions, like in addition to, are more complex and give a clear picture rather than using just one word transitions like another or next. There's nothing wrong with using those transitions as long as you use a combination of transitions throughout your essay. Relying on just one type of transition can make your essay seem too simplistic or boring. Now that you know some do's and don'ts about writing topic sentences, here are some templates you can use for different types of essays. In comparison contrast essays, many students can easily state what items have or don't have in common, but they fail to state the significance of the comparison or contrast. 
For example, instead of saying that sweet potatoes are more nutritious than yellow potatoes, a better topic sentence would state why that contrast is being made. For example, a better topic sentence would be, if possible, people should consume sweet potatoes over yellow potatoes because they are more nutritious. This tells the reader why you're contrasting the two potatoes and what you want them to think or do. Review your topic sentences for this type of essay to see if you answer why by showing what the comparison or contrast reveals and what you want the audience to do with the information. Next, in a proposal essay, you're telling your readers to take a certain action, so every topic sentence needs to provide a different reason for why that action should be taken. For example, we should eat more plant-based foods because it reduces inflammation in our bodies. If you're writing a rhetorical analysis essay or examining the rhetorical appeals, each paragraph can focus on how or why an author uses a specific appeal. Instead of, the Pepsi ad has pathos, follow the template of the author uses whichever appeal in order to, and then state what their reasoning is for using that appeal, and then by, by explaining the strategy that's used. For example, the Pepsi advertisers use pathos to sell their product by making audiences feel as if every situation will be full of excitement when one drinks a Pepsi. Finally, in a reflective essay in which you're reflecting on yourself as a writer, make each topic sentence about a particular improvement or weakness or about a specific assignment that demonstrates a strength or weakness. For example, instead of, I greatly improved my writing in this class, better topic sentences state how or what was improved. For instance, my revised second essay titled, Fast food is a great example of how I improve my critical thinking and analysis. Or if you're focusing on a weakness, you can state, one area for improvement is my overall essay structure. I hope this video helps you to write clear topic sentences that give your audiences just the right amount of information. Please like and subscribe for more content.